blood sugar as well. And along with that, it's not it yet. I mean, there's still, there's still one more thing to rather go on. But again, solve a fiber. This is why I make the video about unsolvable and solve a fiber too. Because there's something major important. I'm going to back out right now. Why not? I have time. Anyways, so we go from rather we switch over from insoluble fiber. We switch over to solid fiber too. Okay, so now we get into the point where we're gonna be talking about sugar. We're talking about the releasing and the absorbing of sugar, the catabolic breakdowns. We're gonna be talking about the anabolic breakdowns as well, which is gets released and the foods broken down. The body foods are broken down, processed, synthesized. Energy is released from that point on. It requires some amount of energy for your basal metabolic rate to make metabolic to make a low amount of metabolites. Low metabolism, low metabolism that is carbohydrate sensitive and decalorie sensitive. When you eat these foods, you cannot burn off and return you store it as fat and you gain body composition that you did not need. And you cannot burn off, you cannot utilize this energy, you can make more metabolic from that point on. So what we have to do is we want high metabolism, we have to reset our metabolism, slow so functions, process of the metabolism again are recurring and that we have metabolites creation mission being made we have muscle fiber going from going from simple to complex small to large low capacity to grow high capacity to grow so we have small complex more of a complex structure more of a, a larger structure at that so we have biosynthesis coming into play muscle fiber type 2 recruitment we have more more muscle tone more vascularity we have more muscular hypertrophy too again with an increasing basal metabolic rate get down to a clear deficit whether it's through intermediate fasting or cutting, the you do a caloric deficit, you burn the fat, increase your caloric intake with foods, high value with bargain foods, and nutrition, so you make sure that the process, the functions are being served with the metabolism, the basal metabolic rate, and along with this, get the fat, increase your caloric intake, foods, high value, and bargain foods, you need the, the nourishment, you need the nutrition, and you need the energy as well, so you can eat a lot more, so you get out to a point hypocaloric state, you have less calories, and when you have less calories, you can burn the fat, so rather to a point where you you cannot burn it off and you store it as fat. You can burn it off and utilize its energy. Keep burning off, making more metabolites from the point. So increase your basal metabolic rate. This is the correct way. Increase your caloric intake from hydrogen value. So you can digest more. You can burn off, utilize its energy, keep digesting more, and have gaining amount of metabolites, reproducing, developing, and growing even more. So you can have more coming on. So you can burn up, burn the food off and store it as energy. You can burn the food off and utilize it as energy too, so as energy, burn it off and keep making more metabolites from that point out. But again, we have like one more thing to go across. I want to make sure I get the science of the video in this video for you guys today. Because I usually do like the science of the body. So we're going to...